good hub if you're not into getting to Facebook or anything else like that. All right, we got the lore, man. <laughs> DK versus King K. Roll. Yeah, Tropical versus that one guy. Like I said, last night we saw that one guy kind of get sauced out there by Rex. But it's, it's a new day brings new beginnings here, and we'll see what he can do against this yeah, DK. Uh, yes, how dare that one guy lose to the guy that won the whole tournament <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, no way of knowing. Yeah, but let's see how this goes down. I'm pretty much a battle of the jungle here, battle of the giants. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh. and he just slams him back into the ground. He just waited after that dash attack, and Tropical didn't really pick anything. I think he thought that he was safe. And of course, when you get that berry with down throw or down tilt, using up air, or excuse me, up tilt is a really good option because it catches them coming out of it with mash. Yeah. So it's a good confirm, at, especially even to the higher percent. Oh. So guys, decides to go for the up smash, that might be a sensitivity issue, I'm not sure. Yeah, at that situation, up tilt would have been the best option, yeah. Like you said, sensitivity issue plays a lot of factors into that. In a game, would have liked to have seen the up tilt because up smash at that situation is not going to kill, but nonetheless, he gets percent that back air, sends him straight down to the ground. Yep, I mean, he got the, his revenge off of that the first time, so we'll have to see. Again, using that pressure with the crown just to make DK either go in the air or have to be forced to commit Ooh. the shield. But here we go. Fourth like throw into the dash attack. And I like the fact that one guy, how he played that eye, he definitely spaced himself a little bit towards the ledge there and tried to get a whiff punish, but he fortunately missed that one on the mark. Yeah, unfortunately from that one guy, he had the dong punch available, and even after getting hit by the crown, had the opportunity, but just was not facing the right direction. Thought that he was running out of time, and he was. Not able to get that. Oh, and just getting hit by the back end of Crown. DK is so big, it's difficult for him to try and come back. Yeah, oh, and there's the ground and to the Donk Punch, and that'll take the stock here. Definitely Tropical was not ready for that one. All right, but here we go. Oh, yes, down tilt. Of course, it's minus on hit <laughs> until like 30 or 40%. It's very unfortunate. You have to get the trip confirmed to try and get something out of it. But just off of that one opportunity from the down tilt and low percent, Tropical able to take out that stock with a couple of up air juggles. I do like the fact that once one guy gets a bit of a second here, he lets Tropical go for the setup shit and he immediately starts coming in. That's, he knows like, hey, K. Roll likes these setups. He likes going for crown. He likes going for boner bus. He likes these setups. And if I can wait for the time because there is some end lag after he throws the crown, I can definitely get in. Yep. Yeah. Oh, lands with the nair. It has armor as well. Doesn't need it. Oh, gar grab the crown. Okay, there we go. When your opponent has crown as K. K. Roll, <laughs> it's very difficult to get him back, and you're Aww. just getting sauced by your own move. It's Quite hilarious and befitting. Oh, the mix up. Ooh. And it goes for the up smash just enough time at that high percent. Yeah, and that situation, right? That's what we kind of saw Tropical go for up smash to those at that point. Because he knew that what that one guy was gonna go for aerial options. He knew he was gonna go for aerial cross-ups, cross up back air, cross up, up possibly an air, forward air, and if he catches him down in that situation, that's gonna kill. Yeah. Great stuff altogether. All right, well, we're gonna the same characters here. Definitely Tropical doing a lot to make the comeback, because uh, when it started off, man, that one guy was looking to probably win this match. Yeah. We'll have to see, though. It just Tropical was doing a good job of keeping up the control and just knew his setups, and uh, he got, he got kind of lucky sometimes. But that I, I don't want to say lucky, but, you know, that down tilt at zero and then extending that all the way to the kill, great stuff from Tropical. Yeah. Oh, he gets caught up by the blender, but sends him out there, gets the stage to himself, putting that one guy 72% unanswered with that forward smash. Oh yeah, that was that was a bad position to be in. Just that crown forced you to go high, mm -hmm. and then you wanted to jump back to the stage. It's like, do I go for the ledge, but do I get hit by the crown in the process? Like, what do I do? But he's going to use his own crown against him. I was going to say, that's one thing that K. Rolls understand too as well, is when your opponent has crown, they love to go for the counter because they know if the belly, if it hits the belly, definitely going to go in and use a reflect on that one. Yeah. That's why we kind of see them not too afraid to lose crown, but it's also like if you're able to mix up when they go for the counter, you're able to hit them with the crown still. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big Oof. timing mix up. Wow, turn around, up smash. And <laughs> Tropical, looks like he's got a handle of how that one guy tries to make it back to the stage. That one guy still trying to keep up the control mm. though. Oh, and the... Incineroar down smash. Yeah. Think about that down smash too with Incineroar and uh, K. Roll is they actually have a little bit of a height to it, so you're able to dodge get up attacks and certain moves from the ledge. Don't forget Ridley. Yeah, Ridley <laughs> as well. Why, why do all the newcomers have the same down smash? Like, why do gotta be like that? It's <laughs> kind of cool, man. You got, you got a way to definitely anticipate your opponents like one of their one of their options. Yeah. Oh, but Tropical still on the chase. Finally gonna get that dong punch, but still two stock to work with fresh. For Tropical, we'll see how this goes because that one guy has a lot to work on before he can think about surmising this comeback. Good parry, definitely showing signs that he's trying to understand that pattern that Tropical sets up here. Gets the crown here, I like it, walks back, uses the crown, comes in with a neutral, I'm uh, sorry, uh, dash attack. Oh, the fair, chased on the platform, he doesn't get the up air though. 
But still, oh, and shields the crown. He finally gets it back. No tech chase this time around. That one guy still trying to bring this back. But of course, that uh, I was going to say that up the hitbox is quite large even with the nerf. So a lot of characters not going to be able to challenge that. Oh, and he knew it. He, he That was a pretty smart option because a lot of Lucinas and Marts love to go for that option, especially characters yeah. with counters. You just counter the B, man. It doesn't have a lot of good um, horizontal uh, recovery, so you're able to just hit him. Alrighty, bringing back to a last stock scenario. DK can definitely get some ridiculously early kills like we saw earlier. Like if he gets a runoff fair, but it looks like Tropical is just going to be content to go low. The down throw into the up smash, but he doesn't get the sweet spot. He delays his... Um, it looks like he delayed his mashing that time oh. around. Oh, but the dare into the up air. That still closes it out. Great stuff. Tropical moving on. I like the fact that Tropical even got the whiff finish there, sensing the fact that he was going to come in hot, especially at the ledge, the way that one guy was playing. So he knew, let me get this spot dodge. Let me get the whiff punish here, and then I can work with a lot here. And he missed that crucial moment there with the up smash. But nonetheless, I dare to yell.